I'm going to show you guys how I make my um, homemade potato salad. Uh, I got this recipe from my mother who got the recipe from her mother and my grandmother got the recipe from her mother. So this recipe has been passed down from generation to generation. So if you'd like to watch this video and learn how to make my potato salad, then stay tuned. Okay, so first things first is you want to make sure you have your potatoes. I have my hands cleaned already. These potatoes um, were peeled and cut up into chunks like so. As you can tell, they're not really that big, but they're not really that small either. And you want to put them in a pot and you want to boil them. Um, I normally boil my potatoes for about 20 minutes and how you can tell that they're done is while they're boiling, stick a fork in it or a knife in it, and if it falls right back off, they're done. So, what you want to do is you want to take a spoon. I have a small spoon. This is a, about a tablespoon spoon. Um, and you want to take, um, you can either use Miracle Whip or you can use Mayo. For this one, I'm going to be using Kraft Real Mayo. And um, some people measure, but I don't. That's just me and what I like to do. So what you want to do is you want to take mayo and you kind of want to eyeball it to see um, how much mayo you'll actually need for this recipe. So as you can see, I'm doing heaping tablespoons of the mayo. That's actually three. This is four. Let's start off with five and see where we go from there. So after that, um, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab your relish and grab your mustard. All right, so back. you want to make sure you have your mustard and you also have your sweet relish. <clears throat> Some people use um, regular relish, but I like to use sweet relish because I like my potato salad to be sweet. So, what you want to do, take your spoon, sorry for the noise, and you want to put a um, spoonful of the mustard in, and you want to put that in, okay? Then, for the relish, what you want to do is take your relish and kind of eyeball it to your likings um give me just a second i'm having to open my relish because i've actually used all of the relish in the house so i have to open a so, new container all right now what you want to do take your relish and you kind of just want to eyeball it um let's see that's two tablespoons Four tablespoons is what I'm going to be using, okay? Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to take a tablespoon of sugar. And I actually pulled out my measuring cup for this one because I'm out of spoons. So you want to take about a tablespoon of granulated sugar. And then what you want to do is mix it up. Now... For me, I don't normally use the spoon that I do all my mixing with. I usually use a wooden spoon to do all my mixing. That's just me and how I like things done. <clears throat> so from here, you kind of just mix it together like this. Make sure you get it nice and mixed up. You get it mixed up really, really good. And you want to make sure you scrape the edges to make sure you're getting everything. So, once it's all mixed together like that, what you want to do is you want to take your hard-boiled eggs. Now, some people use um, no eggs at all, and some people do. I have six hard-boiled eggs that I'm going to crack open 
and I'm going to chop up and I'm going to put into my mix. Also, my mom puts onions in hers. I don't particularly care for onions, so I'm not going to be using onions in this recipe. But if you would like to use onions, what you do is you take half of a medium sized onion chop it up really really finely and you put it in with the mix and it works just fine. all right so the next thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and chop up your um your eggs and this is how i chop mine up some people use a cutting board but because i've done this so many times i know how to cut up an egg the correct way without cutting myself so i'm going to be using a paring knife for this what you want to do is you want to cut the egg down the middle like this okay then you want to flip it over and you want to cut it again down the middle like that now what you want to do is just start cutting it into little slices like that okay that's all you want to do and then you drop it in just so like that. that's what you want to do for the next um five or six eggs I'm putting in six eggs for my batch but you can use however many you want um some people just use four because they don't really At like point, eggs that much is you want to take your eggs and you want to mix that in as well and you want to make sure you get this really really mixed in because you don't want anything to be lacking at this point okay <clears throat> and then from there you want to do a taste test so grab a spoon or whatever you would like and kind of look for a small little chunk of potatoes or you can just chop up a potato get you a little bit and you want to taste it I'm going to put half a teaspoon more of sugar in mine because it's not sweet enough for me. And I'm also going to put in an extra tablespoon and a half of relish. And I'm going to mix that in. Because I like my... Um, potato salad to be nice and sweet that's just me because you know I was born and raised in the south we like everything sweet <clears throat> so from here so there you go your own homemade potato salad if you have any questions comments or concerns please make sure to leave those below make sure you thumbs up this video for me and until next time i'll see you later bye